we would like to thank the organizers for the invitation to participate in this event and send our regrets for not being able to attend. As part of Canada's $2.65 billion climate finance pledge for developing countries in 2015, we allocated $10 million Canadian to the World Meteorological Organization for the Canada Cruise Project to build resilience to high impact weather, water and climate events. The objective of the Canada Cruise funding was to protect lives and property by sponsoring capacity building activities in the Caribbean, the Pacific and in Southeast Asia. We hope the results and lessons learned under the Canada Cruise Project can contribute to the work underway to respond to the UN Secretary General's recent call to action to ensure every person on Earth is protected by early warning systems within five years. Initiatives to strengthen early warning system, like CRUS, are very important, given the increase in extreme weather, water and climate events due to climate change and the potentially devastating impacts of these events to vulnerable populations. Canada recognizes the importance of reliable weather forecasts and climate predictions as a foundational element in facilitating improved public response and decision making during high impact hydrological, hydrometeorological events. Actionable warnings and alerts are critical to mitigate immediate impacts of extreme weather events. As authoritative providers of weather, water and climate services, National Meteorological and Hydrological Services play a central role in protecting lives and livelihoods. They contribute to national resilience by providing timely and accurate forecasts, advisories and warnings of hydrometeorological hazards, a critical element of early warning systems. Canada is pleased to have supported essential training for staff in predicting and warning about hazards such as flash floods and tropical storms. Under the South East Asia Flash Flood Guidance System project being highlighted during this workshop, more than 100 regional hydrologists, meteorologists and disaster managers were trained on the use of flash flood guidance systems and how to issue effective flash flood warnings and alerts. We hope that gaps identified under the baseline assessment undertaken in Cambodia, Lao Democratic Republic, the Philippines, Thailand and Vietnam will help build the foundation for future projects, including capacity development for staff, as well as helping to establish the technical and scientific infrastructure on which early warning systems depend. We wish you all the best for a successful two days of workshops and events. Thank you.